today we are going to be creating a simple dice animation with using some rigid boy dynamics and that's it we are not going to be using any constraint but if it's required we will so let's get into it so i have a simple dice model here and i'm going to make this small and you can use a simple cube if you want and if you cannot model this i think uh, there are a lot of free models out there where you can pretty much download this cube exactly and there's not much to this cube but if you want you can simply take a simple cube here and uh, you can subdivide this like something like this and then you can pretty much use any vertex and you can chamfer it and then if you want you can increase the chamfer and from here you can use a multi cut to pretty much join this with the overall sorry. and yeah so make this kind of a quads here and you're pretty much done so from here you can scale this out and just select the whole face and make sure you circleize the whole component and from here you can extrude this down and that's it so you have a perfect circle here i think you can also find the overall chamfer and all those uh, keybinds that i'm using uh, you can find it somewhere here uh, i think so you have extrude connect circularize there you go so you have this and i think the chamfer is uh, it should be somewhere here i i usually use hotkeys just so it's a bit easier for me to get things done quickly so yeah there you go so you have chamfer vertices as well so you have chamfer and circularize so you can pretty much use that otherwise you can also do one thing you can select a bit of a area here you can scale this down you can circularize the component and then you can extrude it inside and then you'll have a perfect circle as well let's move on so we have something like this i'm going to duplicate this actually uh let's scale this down first so i'm going to duplicate this to something like this and let's create our floor i'm going to turn off the grid here and let's make the overall divisions to one and one okay so this is our pretty much dice here so first thing i want to do is select my floor and make it let's go to fx menu make it as a passive collider and select both of these make it an active rigid body now from here we are obviously going to apply some gravity to this cube and if we hit play you'll notice that they fall exactly how it should be apart from that if you'll notice uh, they have a bit of more bounciness which kind of looks fake because the dice shouldn't have that much bounciness so i'm going to select both of these i'm going to make the bounciness to about 0.1 and let's see okay that seems and i'm gonna make the whole mass to about three i think that will seem much more realistic okay so i think that is good i'm gonna make the whole friction to 0.3 and 3 and we can keep increasing this if it's kind of rolling too much all right so from here now there are a couple of ways you can do this like the first is obviously we are going to select this and go to fields and solver and we'll take a field which is going to be a simple air field and from here i can pull this out right about there and uh, right now the magnitude value and basically this is overall strength if you don't know about fields and solver i think i've already covered this in previous videos so you can check that out but yeah it, this is basically the overall strength and uh, this is the overall direction x y and z right now it's pushing on the y direction which i do not want i want it to be a negative x so i'm going to make this zero and from here as you can see it's kind of throwing them on the my negative direction but the overall power is not that good yeah so i'm gonna make this something like a 50 here okay so now you can see the overall pressure is being applied i'm gonna just give them a kind of a rotation here just to make them a bit more sp spinning kind of look all right so now you can see uh, we have another problem and that is the overall spinning is kind of just going through the overall air so let's fix that so i'm gonna just add a bit more overall yeah all right so the randomization is fixed the overall spinning is fixed but one thing that we need to add is obviously some friction because it's kind of slipping too much and i'm gonna make this somewhere like 0.5 and 0.5 i'm gonna increase the mass to maybe like four 
and let's hit play okay so now i think it looks good so you get a different result from both of the dice you get a kind of a random spinning thing and you don't know how they are going to be spinning and what is going to be the overall result but you get the idea of how you can kind of pull this off all right so uh now the second method that we can do is i'm gonna delete the overall airfield and uh, you can choose uniform and uniform is in a way kind of a air but air has much more you can say parameters than a simple uniform all uniform does is throw that object in a certain direction so i can make that direction as a minus one and the magnitude will be somewhere like 30 and if i play this now you'll have something like this i think the overall uh, uniform is not kind of applied to the overall cues here so i'm going to select these and uniform and just to make sure i'm gonna make that 50 minus one and uh, let's hit play now i'm going to increase some more values to about 500 okay so the overall uniform is applied but the overall strength was too low so i'm gonna make this 300 okay so one thing you'll notice that even after the cube has stopped rolling this kind of air is still pushing and you can pretty much fix that by applying a simple key or you don't even have to apply a key if you keep playing you'll notice that they stop the overall motion as they goes so if you want you can turn off the overall magnitude by simply right clicking and set key for example i'm gonna set key on this and i think about right there i don't want the overall thing to stop so i'm going to make this zero here and i'm gonna set key right click and set key and from here you can uh, kind of animate that and you'll notice that they stop uh, but i don't think that you have to do that but yes if you want a kind of a certain type of look you can go for something like that so i'm gonna get back here uh, now apart from that uh, you can pretty much use fields to get whatever kind of result you want with the overall dice rolling effect and um, yeah so you can also use something like a vortex or something to kind of create that rolling thing okay so the next thing that you can do is if you have something like a different type of area like for example if you have a bit of a table area and i'm going to make the division to one and one and i'm going to hit extrude i'm going to select this face and extrude this on the inside and you will see kind of a double face area so you can just select the back face and delete it and it won't be an issue so from here i'm just going to select the corners and just hit extrude and just bevel these out to make them a bit nicer okay something like this so we have this table corner something like this which uh, let's assume this is a table where everybody is playing and uh, then you have the overall rolling dice animation or whatever so you can have your dice somewhere about here and i'm going to select the overall dice here and first of all i'm going to select this let's make sure everything is completely reset and add a passive collider from here i'm going to select both of my cubes here and add a bit of a gravity so the cubes are falling and select these and i'm going to add some air push back the overall air here i'm going to make the overall magnitude to 20 and make the direction to minus one instead of x y so now we have something like this all right so uh, as you can see the overall spinning is a bit too much so again we can go back and add a bit more mass to this to maybe like three and bounciness is 0.2 i think that is enough and let's add a bit more friction so from here you can see since we have added a bit more mass and everything uh, this will require more strength on the pushing direction or you can just make them a bit higher from here or you can increase the magnitude value of this whatever works for you all right so this is kind of having a bad collision here so i'm just gonna make sure this is a bit more on the upside direction i'm also going to simply just change some values here so instead of magnitude value of 20 i'm going to make that 25 and here you can see you have a perfect rolling animation if you think the rolling uh, overall spinning impulse is a bit too much you can add a bit more mass or you can add a bit more uh, you can say friction here just to make them stop but I think the overall dicing animation here is a bit too, you can say, it's not too bad, 
because in movies or anything you will see a kind of a scene where the dice is kind of rolling and rolling and they are crying trying to kind of create some suspense so you can do that with this so i'm just gonna take a simple camera if you want to make something like a cinematic shot here what you can do is you can just take any frame here i'm just gonna play this and i think uh, i can go with this and i'm gonna get into my camera okay i'm into my camera here and i can just from here i can just choose any shot i want something like this maybe and let's turn on our film gate and okay so this is what we have and let me just frame this to something like this okay so this is looking quite good for me and i think i'm good to go with this i'm going to select my camera here and i'm just going to make something like a cinematic shot so i'm just going to rotate this depending upon how i want this overall shot here and um, yeah this is not exactly what i'm going for but yeah this should work okay all right so now it looks pretty good to me so i'm gonna lock my camera here uh also i'm gonna do one more thing i'm gonna take a simple locator here i'm gonna get into my perspective view and i'm gonna set the locator uh, to right about on this corner and what i'm adding is a bit of a depth of field so if you don't know about how to add depth of field i think i've already covered this in a separate video so you can pretty much check that out if you want but i'm just quickly going to add a depth of field here so i'm going to get into my camera select my camera go to attributes and copy the whole tab here and close all of these and open up arnold from here make sure enable depth of field is turned on and this is our focus distance so i'm going to select my locator here and the distance from the camera is 7.873 hit enter and that's it so i'm just gonna take a simple direction light for the overall lighting purpose nothing much and also let's take an ipr okay so this is what we have and uh, i can shade the overall table but i i don't think that's necessary for the overall sake of this video and i'm just gonna take another sky dome light just to fill the overall area so you don't see much depth of field here but i'm gonna make something like aperture to 0.100 and now you'll see some more dramatic depth of field going on so this is how you can create rolling dice animation if you want to create a video on this what you can do is you can go to your render settings common and from here make sure the extension has been set to something like this where you have the number of frames and this is frame padding that means how much number of frames you have like for example if you have a thousand frame you need four frames padding if you have a hundred frame three padding is good enough and then you can set the frame range here what is your start frame one and the end frame is about for me it's 200 but you can keep it to 50 and anything that you want apart from that uh, i'm going to make this single again since i'm not doing the overall rendering and then you can go to your rendering tab render here and then render sequence click on this browse your path where you want to save this and render sequence and close and that's it so that's it for this one i hope you enjoyed this play around with the overall rigid boy dynamics to create this kind of animation and i'll see you in the next one <laughs>